so-called African Americans, black Americans, it is our job to push back this transatlantic slave trade propaganda. I told you all this before about the so-called black American people. The white dominant society has brainwashed the so-called African American people into believing that their ancestors were kidnapped somewhere in West Africa by Europeans and then brought to the United States of America. I also told you all that black women, not all, are dumb, and black men, not all, are dumber when it comes to what? The transatlantic slave trade, politics, race mixing, the economy, and religion. Many of the so-called African-American people are too dumb to realize that the transatlantic slave trade was a host and a myth created by white people to deceive them of their true identity, which is American Indian. If they lied about the House of Slaves on Synagogue Gory Island, what else did they lie about slavery? This is 
Mr. Pan-African and Back to Africa Negro, Umar Johnson, who is the biggest brainwasher of all Negroes. Umar Johnson is so brainwashed by the dominant white society that he can't even see straight. <laughs> Let's strip all of that away. For four million individuals living in America, this wasn't about political intrigue or party alignment. It was about the basic human right to be free. Men, women, and children were stolen from their homelands and brought to the American continent. This is coming from y'all King James Version, Holy Bible, Matthew chapter 7, verse 15 through 20. Let's read. Beware of false prophets, which come to you in sheep clothing, but inwardly they are reverend wolves. Ye shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns, of figs, of thistles? Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is who's down. This word right here doesn't mean chop or cut down and cast into the fire. Wherefore, by the fruits ye shall know them. Jesus was warning Christians about these false prophets who's coming to them all dressed up in sheep clothing. But inside, they ain't nothing but a bunch of rabbering wolves. Y'all, Jesus also said that a tree is known by their fruits. If I come upon a tree and I see apples, I know that's an apple tree. If I come upon a tree, another tree, and see oranges, I know that's an orange tree. And if I come upon a tree and I see bananas, I know that that is a banana tree. That's why y'all Jesus said, a tree is known by their fruits. This is Umar Johnson, the king of Pan-Africanism. And this is Henry Louis Gates Jr. This nigga promote the DNA scam and uses celebrity, black celebrities to convince American Negroes of the United States of America and the world that our ancestors came from Africa. And this is Pookie Bishop Talbert Swan. This nigga spent all day on Twitter whining about racism and and yes he also promote this um this slavery crap. These are y'all leaders. These are y'all Negro leaders. A bunch of black 
flunkies. Let's go back to y'all holy Bible, to the scripture about the fake prophets. And I'm going to rephrase it like this. Beware of the Pan-Africans, pro-blacks, and back to Africa Negroes who come to the so-called African-Americans disguised as sheep, but inwardly they ain't nothing but ravering wolves who don't give a shit about black people or the black community. Their job is to promote the white man transatlantic slave trade propaganda about the so-called African-American ancestors being kidnapped or stolen from Africa and brought to the Americas. He's right about the so-called African-Americans not being immigrants, but their ancestors were not Africans either. Black people has been warning us about some of these Negro pastors, the historical snitch, bootleg, Uncle Tom, and sellout. 